Greetings. Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about testing positional accuracy underwater. Now, I recently had the opportunity to test positional accuracy while underwater. Hmm. And I didn't even have to get wet. While I was doing some GIS work, geographic information systems work with the excellent faculty at the University of Hamburg in Germany, I walked through the St. Pauli Elbe Tunnel while collecting a track. As I did so, I reflected on the fascinating cultural and physical geography of this 1911 engineering masterpiece that is still in use. The tunnel is 426 meters or 1,398 feet long. It was a technical sensation when it, when it was constructed. Photos at the entrance show Kaiser Wilhelm II dedicating it. It connected central Hamburg on the north side of the river with the docks and shipyards on the south side of the river Elbe. The most amazing part was the four massive elevators capable of carrying bikes and whole vehicles and, of course, a hundred years ago, carriages and horses. These elevators and tunnel are still functional and being used today. While pondering these thoughts, I collected a track in the RunKeeper app and mapped it as a GPX file in ArcGIS Online, as a 2D web map and as a shape file in a 3D scene. I wanted to test how spatially accurate a track underwater would be in the X and Y dimensions, but also in the Z dimension. First, let's consider the X and Y. As I walk through the tunnel, 24 meters or 80 feet beneath the surface, through one of the two 6 meter or 20 feet diameter, diameter tubes, I expected the app, the RunKeeper app, to lose sight of the GPS, Wi-Fi, and cell phone towers but I did not know how far off my position would be. My recent experiments on an above ground track gave me a ray of hope that perhaps my position would be recorded as somewhere in Germany rather than in the North Sea or the Atlantic Ocean. I was told by a local source who said that the tunnels are eight meters below the bottom of the river, making the water 16 meters deep here. This depth here allowed Hamburg to become, by the way, one of the largest container ports in the world. Thus, above me was 8 meters of sediment, glacial in this area, and 16 meters of water for a total of 24 meters above me. The elevation at the water surface here is approximately 5 meters above sea level. Thus, my elevation in the tunnel should be 5 minus 24, or minus 19 meters, minus 3 more meters because I was standing on the bottom of the tunnel rather than at the top, so minus 22 meters total. My results as a 2D web map and as a 3D scene are shown here. As is evident, the recorded elevations are all above sea level, at around 4 or 5 meters. So they were mm, 22 plus 5 or 27 meters off of my tunnel elevation. Feel free to open and interact with the data. For example, to test the X and Y, using the measure tool in ArcGIS Online, measure the distance between the tunnel as shown on the OpenStreetMap base map and the position recorded by my track. As I left the train station on the north side, my position was fairly accurately recorded. But once I descended the stairs into the tunnel, my position was off to the east by about mm, 140 meters, and then shifted to the west and was off by about mm, 240 meters. But as I continued walking south for the last one third of my trek through the tunnel, my XY positional accuracy was only off by 50 meters. Pretty amazing. I ascended the stairs and circled the parking lot, as you can see on the map, on the south side, and was only one to two meters off once more. I descended then into the tunnel and walked north. This time, my position was about 100 meters off, becoming worse as I kept walking. My position overcorrected 80 meters to the north as I ascended the stairs and settled back to being a few meters off as I walked to the train station. To test the Z position, the elevations were, as I suspected, not displaying their correct number below sea level, that is 19 meters below sea level. However, you can see that the elevations are actually quite close to the elevation of the surface of the river in this area, about 4.5 meters. Here is a 3D scene in ArcGIS Online showing the results of my experiment with elevations in meters above sea level as shown as labels and symbolized as cylinders. Feel free to open and interact with this 3D scene. Overall, folks, with only a smartphone and a fitness app in this case, displaying the data in ArcGIS Online, I was rather pleased with the fact that my positions all around were only in the tens or a few dozen meters off of true. 
This aligns with my recent reports of above-ground experiments and is further evidence of the improvements in spatial accuracy with all location-based services. Interested in further exploration? See the evidence of my field trip in the photographs here. The enormous elevators that carry pedestrians, bicycles, and even vehicles from the street level to the level of the tunnels. This photograph is at the north side of the river with a photo of the opening ceremony with Kaiser Wilhelm II dedicating it. And here, standing at the entrance to the tunnel, this photo also shows one of the glazed terracotta art sculptures. Now, you go out and conduct your own accuracy experiments. Thanks. Tschüss.